Hi everyone, I'm here in Joshi. Today what we're going to be talking about is alternative to the Indian lifestyle. What do I mean by that? Well stick around and you'll find out. So I absolutely love visiting my family. I love when we have get together, we eat so much great food, we have great chat. It's fun, but sometimes, when I say sometimes, I mean most of the time, um, I used to leave these get-togethers feeling bloated, fatigued, and just awful, not only within the evening, but for days afterwards, and that's because of the food we'd eat, that's because of the ingredients we, we, we would use. So I'm gonna give you some minor hacks, minor al uh, alternatives that you can do to make sure that you can leave your family get-together, if you are in an Indian family, um, without feeling bloated. So number one is something that you're going to hear from every 30 year old um, you know is buy an air fryer and start air frying your samosas. So I love samosas, my whole family loves samosas, we eat them all the time when we get we have big get togethers. Um, but deep frying them is just a no no for like myself now. Uh, every time I eat one it triggers my crowns and I feel shit for pff, days. So what my mum does, what we do in, in our household what my sister does, what my cousins do, is they have now started to air fry samosas and you still get that crispiness, but you get none of that trans fat from the deep frying. So that's one hack. Something else that we've started to do is eat more brown rice. So instead of having your sort of white basmati rice, swap it out for some whole grain uh, brown rice. Yes, it's less fun, but brown rice has way more fiber, which is good for your gut. It's good for feeding your uh, gut microbes as well with, with all that fiber because they need to feed on the fiber to then um, sort of multiply and, and end up having the energy to do the positive things that they do for our bodies. So just make that little adjustment of having brown rice instead of white rice and you'll notice a difference over a long period of time. Something we've done um, over the last few years is we swapped out white potatoes for sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes are micronutrient dense they are a great source of carbohydrates too. So swapping up potatoes for sweet potatoes is an absolute game changer for you and you will notice the difference. Making curries, making any kind of Indian food, obviously we use chilli powder. Chilli powder is an irritant. Whenever I use it and I'm either having a flare or I am triggered, chilli powder just does not help in the slightest. So what I've done is I've swapped out chilli powder for paprika. Yes, slightly different. Yes, slightly different flavours but you can still get that nice sort of spice from it. It's not going to be tri as triggering. It's not gonna be as spicy as well. It's not gonna have that like intense heat. It still is a good flavor to add to your food, um, but you're gonna get less of the negative effects. So paprika instead of chili powder, try it. So something that I've been doing for probably about three or four years now is portion control. So you go to a family event, your mum, your aunt, your grandma, they're gonna give you massive portions, I'm probably gonna give you like three or four of them. You need to just say no, you need to make sure that you're not gonna overeat, you need to make sure that you do the Japanese 80% rule, where you're only 80% full. You'll feel much better, you're less likely to get triggered, and overall, you're, you're gonna have a better experience if you are at a family function, or visiting people, or in a restaurant, you know, just be mindful of what you're eating, and the portion size that you are consuming. Finally, I love chai, but, too many people add tons of sugar, cut the sugar out completely, substitute the sugar for honey. We've been doing this in our household for three years now and the um, benefits outweigh the cons. Sugar is an inflammatory. It will cause inflammation in your body, maybe not directly with your Crohn's or colitis, but it will cause inflammation within your body, within your digestive tract as well. Honey is an antiseptic, it also has anti-inflammatory properties, so the benefits of having honey instead of sugar are just there. Very simple to understand the uh, positive trade-offs, so just make that small adjustment, cut the sugar out, have honey instead, small amounts of honey in your chai, and you will benefit from that over the long run. So there you go, here are some simple tips that I've shared with you. If you are in an Indian household, do these tips, get your family to do it, and you will all see the benefits. And if you have Crohn's or colitis, you will hopefully start to see the benefits over three to six months. Stick with these habits, and you'll reap the rewards, and you will also stay healthy. Mm -hmm.